Hey everybody, it's Mega Panzer 13. I'm here doing weekly update number three. And I'm trying to upload regularly, but I kind of can't because I'm really busy. And yeah, so if you guys saw my stop motion, this is the clone start in it. Okay, and um, most recent thing, well, I'm taking apart the fire station. Like, it, it's really just like this. Okay, interlocked a bunch. Fire helmet. Like, I think that guy looks like a volunteer gun. Come on, that guy. See, see, like, they're just interlocking kind of panels. I did it like that. But, I don't I don't really like it how it came out and stuff so probably get the fire brigade and rebuild and let's see as you guys probably see it's like a huge mess right here it's not because I'm a messy person it's just because this is also my workstation so I have to I work here too so um there's a little racer car that, like, I just kind of built. I found the parts and I built it. Looks kind of cool. And let's see. I kind of made a custom ladder right there, if you guys can see. Yep. And let's see. Over here is, like, more of kind of like my worst workstation. Like, I'm trying to be organized. Like, this is what I'm trying to, you know, get organized. And, I have all these bins right here, and like here, and here, and stuff like that. And then over here, here's where I'm like, you know, drawing for some ideas. This is like the Lego plane. I know it's pretty crummy looking, but hey, I'm, you know, trying. I'm not the best draw with Expo. And that's it right there. And this is what it kind of looked like when it's all done. And down here we have Lego House. Yeah, I tried to do something like that over there. And I'll show you in just a second, but I again didn't like it. So what I'm kind of doing is like kind of like designing it. Then if I turn it this way, I guess I should be able to see it. See, it's kind of like that. And yep. This is like a big sheet of paper. And yep, and then added a floor to my police station. Don't know why, I just did. And let's see. This is kind of what it looks like on the outside. So, okay, here's the kind of house that I tried and failed to build. Like, here's a bunch of the loot stuff. Like, I got this Grand Emporium and I made it look like a robber. Stuff. So, uh, if I set that down, kind of away. it's just two base plates put together, and then this is my somewhat custom car. And crane, custom satellite. And this is just like some scraps, some wall. And I'm going to be doing another Star Wars mock soon. I just have to uh, finish up some custom work. Yes, I am doing customs now with acrylic paint. I'm not the best. That's why I'm not going to post a video showing the customs like I thought I was. Then I changed my mind because it... They look kind of bad. I mean, they're my first try, so, you know, but they look kind of bad. And here's some more Star Wars Legos. As you can see, I have some more there than Atlantis. And I have a bunch of power miners, just like, collected them kind of thing. Now, they don't sell them, so I could sell one on eBay. I could. If I do, I'd need a very good reason from somebody. Because these are, like pretty cool and I, like I, I could probably use this like look at this monster thing you look at it you know, you know, you know. 
to make them like attack the wall. See, that looks really cool. I'm gonna keep that. Um, yeah, I'm just going on then. I probably could get something from in here because like I have so much Legos, I don't know what to do with half of it. That, that's the truth, that's the true statement right there. I seriously don't know. But with that sleeve one, um, yep. And then I just have like a bag of just scrap Legos down there. This is just like that. And I'm probably gonna get like a second cab, a second one of these stuff. And let's see. What else is new? Well, you guys saw that I had the Lego truck. I am thinking of getting the Toys R Us truck from Toys R Us. Reason being, it looks pretty cool. I mean, I may take the stickers off though, probably. Here's my garbage truck. Yep, and then, um, my dad and I are working on this, we're trying to um, build the Coast Guard station. This goes for a lot of money completed, so I may sell it. Again, I need a really good reason to sell any of my Legos. Like, some people may say that I, I like, am attached to my Legos. Well, yes, I, I admit it, I am, because each one is like special meaning in my life. I know that sounds really cruddy, but you know. And yep, and then here's like, the police station thing which I got with the old police command center like here it came with like a four-wheeler and stuff I mean like this is big I, I'm not getting the new command center because I don't like it this comes with a lot more um, this is kind of like my custom satellite dish which uh, no it's it, this is like a um, custom satellite dish and this one came with it and this one and then I rebuilt this part so I may take it apart unfortunately just so I could do my custom thing with the house yep and here's like my custom detectives office at the police station which will just add some t detail to it and Darth Vader he says join the dark side we have cake do not say cookies like that's kind of old now so if you say cookies like kind of old and now I have a special surprise oh that that kind of ruined it oh oh boy just a second okie dokie now I will not be doing a review of the Grand Emporium because that would be really stupid I'll do it in another video but until then that's a big drop. Now let's see what a Lego guy thinks of it. I'm gonna take this kid. Now you're probably thinking, Lego abuse. Well, yes, it's technically Lego abuse. But Lego doesn't need to know about that, that I'm dropping the Lego guys down the snares. Uh, all right, let's see. That looks pretty far. Let's see him jump this. Oh, did he, did he make it? Oh, I gotta get the chandelier. Let's pull this forward so we can see if Lego guy made it. This gets stuck to the table sometimes. I don't know why. Probably because I have some stuff. So let's see, take this off and there he is. He's way down there. There he is. Ah, oh, poor guy landed on his face. Had to hurt, so I'm just gonna keep it there while I reassemble Grand Emporium. Now, you guys are probably wondering um, when I'm gonna do a review of the Grand Emporium. Well, I really don't know yet because, like, I just mentioned things as I go along. Well, I don't, I plan them out, but to an extent. So, uh, let's see. I'm probably like, um, I also have like a second little task slash surprise. Now I'm going to be doing, um, guys, if you're wondering what all this is, well, actually, um, 
this is this Technic set that I got for Christmas. And you guys are probably thinking, whoa, Christmas? It's the flatbed truck, and I'm not doing a review on it because it's in pieces. So literally, I'm not kidding. This is all of it. Um, but see, I would have gotten together. I mean, this is uh, 1,115 pieces, but it is like really like there's like different connecting pieces and stuff. But prob the problem with it is, I have um, the, the Lego group sent me it with pieces missing and I ordered the pieces that were missing and when I got them found out more pieces were missing so I have to go through the inventory find out what's missing and that that sounds like fun so mm -hmm. as you can see that's why it hasn't been built but I really want to build it it'll be a great addition to my garage over there so yep, I really gotta wrap this up and um some Mega Panzer 13 saying goodbye and this custom guy because I placed the arm things and legs approves of this message. Oh great, now he's attacking the camera. Well well gotta go. Uh oh.